What's up YouTube? So today in this video I'm going to show you a little bit of what we do to maintenance mowers. I'll show you on our 36 inch Gravely stand on. Um, I actually just recently got this back from a shop. I put a new engine on it. But so in these couple first clips uh, we just put a plow on a truck and a strut extension on a truck so the shop part got pretty dirty. So all we're doing here is cleaning up a little bit. Um, it actually gets extremely dirty in no time. But what this video is focused on is we got the mower back from the shop, so I want to give it a pretty good clean. And you'll see what, what we all do to it. So here are my steps on how I kind of deep clean my mower. Um, I like to do this after fall time. I guess the exception with this mower was the engine was blown on it and I had put a new one on. Couldn't figure out the um, starter solenoid or anything so I brought it to a shop. They did and I just got it back. So now I'm going to give it a good clean before we get out there and start mowing with it. So first thing I like to do is go around with an air compressor and just blow out all the uh, crevices and anything. I mean, underneath, right here, those are the drive motors I'm by. From the behind the seat, under the deck, everything, I just get all the grass and stuff out. You can see there's a lot of grass and dirt and gunk uh, tucked up under there. And you want to get that stuff out. Um, I mean, it's probably not good to leave it in there. And a ton gets in there for you. So after we get done blowing all that stuff out, I usually just take it out and start washing it, but I put it up on the jack, as you'll see here in a little bit, and jacked it up with, I've always jacked up from just underneath the deck, and I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do or what you're not supposed to do. So if any of you guys know if there's a better way to jack these up, because some people say, like my dealer said, you don't want to put all that tension your deck up so much it's tension on the top of it I guess but this is how I've always done it how I've always seen people do it so I just do it like this anyway so after we blow it out this day we I just jacked it up and took the blades off and scraped the deck really good I try to scrape the deck well, I try to scrape it every week at least once a week honestly sometimes I don't get to that every week here I'm just kind of blowing out. I don't even know what I was doing there with that air compressor. But I try to scrape it like once a week throughout the year, throughout the mowing season, but sometimes I don't always get to it. So you can see there's some stuff under the deck still, so I just took the blades off and started scraping away.
I get the deck pretty much all scraped out and blown out, I just kind of inspect everything and make sure there's no uh, major rust or anything occurring on the surface, if there's any holes or dings or dents or anything. And if there is, I'll try to fix them, but usually there's not. Um, I'm usually the main one mowing with this, which, as you can see in this shot, I need to get a new striping kit, mats, or whatever you want to call them on the back. Mine are getting kind of tore up, and I want something a little bit more heavy duty. I think those are just the factory ones that came with it. And they, this mower stripes really, really well, but they can stripe better. Anyway, so after we get all the stuff underneath, from underneath the deck scraped off, I just inspect everything. While I'm doing this too clean, I look at the bell, look at all the spindles, um, top off any hydraulic fluid, anything like that. Just kind of an overall maintenance to the mower. So here you can see I'm sharpening some blades. Well, I have them off, I always just sharpen them, even if they don't need sharpen that bad, uh, I, I at least touch them up. So I just use an angle grinder on this drill press vise and kind of freehand it. I know a lot of guys probably look down on that or want me to use a, they have those special tools that you hold the grinder on, it gives you supposedly the perfect angle. Which I'm not saying they're wrong. I've used one before and I don't know. It was no better than me doing it with my free hand. I know I'm probably grinding off a little bit more than I should if I'm not using that tool, but I've never had a problem with it and I like the way it cuts afterwards. So after this, you slap your blades back on and your mower should be ready. Obviously, check your tires and hydraulics and everything like that, but other than this, you should be good to mow. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.
sound right, boy. 